All right, let's talk about some market statistics for Panama City Beach, Florida for the month of July. Now, I did a market update about 30 days ago for the month of June. I'll go ahead and post it up here for you so you can do a comparison, but I'm gonna give you some comparison stats. So it's gonna be a really quick rundown. So for um, the month of June, there were approximately 1,160 properties on the market at that time. Um, we have ticked up a little bit. We've gone to about 1,260 properties on the market um, as of today. Now that's all different property types. So that's everything from, you know, single family homes to condos, townhomes, land, the whole nine yards. So that's everything. So inventory's come up just a little bit, but still very low inventory when you look at comparison to um, several years back, basically. We're still sitting at very low inventory levels. Now let's talk about, um, let's talk about condos. So condos, if you were to look for a condo on the beach, Gulf front, um, anything under $500,000, which is kind of a sweet little spot for a lot of buyers right now. Um, there were, for the month of June, there were about 50 available properties. Now, I've weeded out a few buildings um, for various reasons. Uh, can't tell you here, but like I told you on the other video, you can call me and I can tell you why. So that's, that's also moved up a little bit. So there's currently about 75 condos available under $500,000 that are Gulf Front on the beach. Now, for $500,000, those are typically going to be one bedroom, sometimes one bedroom and a bunk. Uh, very rarely is gonna be two bedrooms in that price point. Now, let's talk about what actually closed. So for the month of June, I'm gonna cheat for a second. Um, <laughs> there was uh, 635 closings in Panama City Beach for the month of June. And for the month of July, that actually did change. And we had 358. Um, closing so definitely closing amount went down inventory came up just a little bit but when you calculate that out our absorption rate which I did, did give an example of an absorption rate is on my other video is still sitting around three to three and a half months and absorption rate is how long it would take if nothing else came on the market today for everything to sell out there's nothing else you can purchase so if nothing else came on the market it would take about three and a half months to sell everything that is on the market. That is a very low rate, and that is still considered a seller's market, but considering interest rates these days, um, <laughs> we're actually more in a balanced market. Um, and then we talked about um, list price to sold price, and I don't think I explained it too, too well in the last video, so I will now. So. That is a percentage, just say that property sold at 97% list price. That means that it was listed a certain amount, let's say $300,000, it sold for 97% of that price. So that means that there was only about a 3% reduction on the property. So that, that stat is still pretty true today. Um, that is if properties are coming on the market and are priced correctly. So sellers who are looking to place your property on the market, um, be advised that you know you have to price it correctly. You can't uh, have your listing $100,000 more for your property than all the other ones that might be um, in the same neighborhood of the same comparable size, value, or in a condo building, also same comparable size. So if you are looking to list your property and it is aligned with the comps and what the market's doing today, then you should be able to achieve about 97% of your list price. So that's a little bit more explanation there. So overall guys, um, I mean, everyone's freaking out because of interest rates. And, and again, I said, uh, I've got it. I understand. I get it. I get it. I get it. Because in our area, because of the demand still for property in our area, we did not experience like a big drop in pricing, right? So we, we pretty much over the past year, it's been a year now, over a year, um, settled into the pricing that we have now. And what's happening on the seller side is that sellers are more reluctant to place their homes or properties on the market. A couple things. If they purchased their property back when interest rates were very different than they are now, their concern is selling that property and then them having to purchase at a higher interest rate. So in some cases, they're just choosing to stay put. 
And if it's an investment sale, then um, knowing that they, they, if they purchase prior to say 2020, which they should have great equity in the property, um, the big run up of pricing escalation has come to a halt. So um, if they purchase within the last couple of years, um, they're going to need to probably hold that property as an investment for, for a while because the appreciation um, hasn't changed that much in the past year because interest rates uh, suppress that. So, um, you know, for, for me, I'm still very busy. Uh, this month is August. It's not normally a busy month in, in our area and for me, not so much, but I already have a lot lined up for September. Um, and overall, my year has actually been more um more better, that's not the way to say it, but it has been um, a very good, strong year, uh, despite the interest rates um, that have kind of suppressed that. And, <clears throat> you know, I'm still looking for another property for myself. My husband and I, we purchased, uh, we've got four investment properties now that we use as long-term rentals. And there's a couple out there I've got my eyeball on. And um, I'm having to experience the same thing. I'm not a cash buyer. So my interest rate for investment purchase, consider, considering I, I already own investment property, so I, I'm, my rates are going to be higher, is sitting today a little over 8%. And that is with some points, money that I have to pay up front to uh, basically pay to play. So, um, you know, when I, when I calculate all that in on an ROI perspective, it's, it's a little challenging. However couple properties that I have my eye on are really well priced like they're really well priced and I already know that they're below market price and they already are gonna have built-in appreciation so um, I have to kind of take those things into factor too as an as an investor is like well everybody else is sitting off to the sidelines I can still jump in there get a price that is well under what the market is and then as we know, as interest rates at some point start to go down, then the prices are gonna come back up. And just in general, you're gonna have appreciation. I mean, obviously not crazy like the last couple of years. I keep saying this over and over again, but you're still gonna have good, moderate appreciation. So I'm still out there looking if it makes sense financially. And that's what's important to everybody. It has to make sense financially. So advice, get with me, get you with the lender, get you pre-qualified, make sure you understand what you can qualify for, get you comfortable with what the payment would be, what your out-of-pocket expenses would be on that property, and then go from there. And as an invest investor, um, it, that has to make sense. It has to make sense. It's got to cover expenses. The property that you purchase is the goal to cover your expenses and then to put a little money in your pocket, the cash flow. So it's a little more challenging. It's definitely more challenging. I'm not gonna sit here and say it isn't, <laughs> But um, if you do it right, and uh, like I said, I'm still out there looking myself and, and hopefully plan on purchasing at least one more by the end of the year, then um, you know there's still great opportunities out there, absolutely. And with um, days on market being a little bit longer, um, prices settling down, and with a little bit more inventory out there because things are staying on the market longer, there's, there's definitely some good options. So. There's your market for it. That's your overall feel of what's going on in our area in PCB as of uh, August, 2023. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, you need to do it. Just do it. You've been watching all my videos. Why haven't you been it? <laughs> done it? Hit the button, hit the button. Um, and then please like this video too. Feel free to share it. Um, and if you'd like to reach out to me, all my contact information is uh, at the end of the video. Have a wonderful day from Panama City Beach, Florida. Thank you.